hello people in this video let us look at what impedance matching is okay so basically impedance matching you are saying impedance but actually it is impedance look at the spelling impedance matching okay this is nothing but magnification of sound guys what are we looking at today ent right we are looking at the ear part so we are looking at this impedance matching happening within our ear so magnification of sound happening within the ear right so basically what happens let us say we are standing here and you call into the water somebody is there and you are calling but this person can't hear very well why you know because this sound is traveling from air to a denser medium so what happens this denser medium offers some resistance here because of which some waves are actually lost dampened so this resistance which is offered right that is called as impedance okay this resistance which is offered by the denser medium here this resistance any resistance is called as impedance you understood what impedance is right okay so here what exactly happens here you have the cochlea correct now the cochlea is the organ of hearing hearing uh, organ of quality everything is in cochlea now this has what perilymph endolymph lot of fluids are there right so now the sound is coming from air to the cochlea so there is some impedance here right so there will be a loss of sound energy that loss is around 30 decibel loss of what 30 decibel of energy so to compensate for this loss there is impedance matching that is done by the tympanic membrane and the ear ossicles that is the malleus incessans stapes which are the ear ossicles tell malleus malleus incus incus stapes stapes yeah so the impedance matching is done by whom the tympanic membrane and malleus incessans stapes these are one of the functions of the ossicles and tympanic membrane so guys shall we now look at how exactly they do this so we will look at how exactly the magnification of sound happens okay so look at this so there are three things here lever action of the ossicles the area difference the tympanic membrane area difference then curved membrane effect okay so there are three things that we have to look at let us look at one by one so basically what is being done whatever is incoming is having greater amplitude but lesser force so it is being converted to lesser amplitude greater force of sound energy so let us say there is greater amplitude and lesser force it is being converted to lesser amplitude and greater force okay so this is called as impedance matching or transformer action of the middle ear who is doing all this the impedance matching the middle ear is doing okay middle ear okay so let us look at the lever action of the ossicles you know what the ossicles are so here you have the malleus incus and the stapes malleus works like the hammer incus like the anvil and the stapes stir up okay so the handle of the malleus is longer than the process of incus providing a mechanical advantage of 1.3 so where do you think the handle of malleus is so let us say handle of malleus is 1.3 times longer than the processes of long process of incus so where's the long process of incus here so 1.3 times this handle of malleus okay and this is 1 so 1 is to 1.3 so it will give an advantage of how much 1.3 okay so there is increase in pressure 1.3 times say this 1.3 1.3 yes so this increases force and decreases velocity at stapes the increase in pressure is 1.3 times okay so this is one of it the lever actions of the ossicles this is done let's move on now guys how is it going so we we have finished the first point lever action now we will move to the area differences yes. so hyd yeah H hydraulic action of tympanic membrane okay the area of the tympanic membrane is much larger than the areas of the stapes foot plate so you can look at that very easily here so here you have the tympanic membrane right so the area of the tympanic membrane is very much larger than the foot plate of stapes correct so the 
average ratio between the two is 21 is to 1. Okay. As the effective vibratory area of the tympanic membrane is only two third, so the area wise though it is 21 is to 1, effectively it becomes 14 is to 1 because the vibratory vibratory area of the tympanic membrane is only two thirds. Okay. So finally what does it become? Effectively it becomes only 14 is to 1. Say 14 is to 14 is to 1. Correct. 14 is to 1. Very good. Okay. So, this is again a mechanical advantage produced, uh, provided by the tympanic membrane. So, here the effective, you are getting 14 is to 1. Here you got in the lever action 1.3. So, finally how much till now you have got advantage? That is 1.3 into 14. Let us see that. 1.3 into 14. So, you got an 18 almost 18.2 is to 1 difference now. Got a difference advantage of 18. So that is a transformer ratio so far of 18. So guys there is a last point here right totally 3 points. The last point here is this one curved membrane effect or buckling factor. What they are saying here is the tympanic membrane as you have seen the tympanic membrane. So this is the central part umbo right where the handle of the malleus is attached right so the central part it doesn't move much the movement is more at the periphery okay so this also provides some effect okay so that is curved membrane effect they have not given any numericals here okay so that was about impedance matching impedance matching we are done with it so basically they are saying there is a conical shape of the tympanic membrane right so as the membrane moves in and out it buckles so that the part where this malleus handle is attached that will move less and the periphery will move more right so this again increases the force so whole idea was to increase the force correct so force increases and also the pressure increases okay So you have understood impedance matching. So let's take a recap. So impedance is nothing but resistance. So impedance matching is nothing but magnification of sound, right? So basically when air travels or sound travels from air to fluid, that is from a medium to a denser medium, what will happen? That will be impedance, loss of energy. To correct this loss of energy, you have middle ear which will increase the force okay so the whole idea is to increase the force okay so this is nothing but impedance matching or transform action so you have lever action of the ossicles malleus handle is 1.3 times that of the long process of the incus providing an advantage of 1.3 then you have the tympanic membrane which is having a vibratory part 14 times bigger than the oval window so 14 is to 1 then you have the membrane tympanic membrane which is moving more at the periphery than at the center that also provides an advantage as simple as that these three are um, are going to help in impedance matching that's all for now guys hope you have enjoyed this video bye bye 